Method of proof by contradiction. So let's see what do we have to offer. Take a look at the following. I'm going to give you a theorem and I'm going to apply the method of proof by contradiction to prove that theorem. The theorem says there is no greatest integer. Okay, there is no greatest integer. How do I prove this? One popular method in proving statements like this is called the proof by contradiction. In the method of proof by contradiction, you're going to assume the following. Suppose the statement is false. And try to reach to a contradiction. Okay, very good. In the method of proof by contradiction, you assume the statement is false and you try to reach to a contradiction. Very good. Okay. Proof by the method of contradiction. So when you are proving statements, mention which method you are using. In this proof, I'm going to use the method of contradiction. So the method of contradiction tells me, suppose this is the very first thing, suppose the statement is false. So the method of proof by contradiction says, assume the statement is false. Okay. What's the meaning of that? So assume you can find the greatest integer. Assume that there is the greatest integer well well i have the integer which is the greatest one okay i have it let us call it n call that greatest integer and well okay so you are in number system Recall from basic algebra, basic algebra, that we can add numbers. Why not? We can add one, we can add two, we can add three. For example, if you have one, you have one plus one, which is two. You have one plus one plus one, which is three. This is just basic algebra. Okay, so you say that, hey, I have the greatest integer. Here it is. Now, since we have an integer, of course it's the greatest integer, but still it's an integer like any other integers. Since we have n as an integer, I can add any integer to it. Yeah, that makes sense. It's pure algebra. So, for example, you can write n plus one, or you can add two to it, or you can add three to it, or any other number. Oh my God, see what happened. I assume that n is the greatest integer. By, by adding one, two, three, or any other integers, I'm creating 
integers that are larger than n. This is the contradiction. So, but by adding other integers to n, we are constructing larger integers. So n is not the largest integer anymore. And this is a contradiction. So you're saying that since we reached to a contradiction, it means that the statement was originally true. Since we reached to a contradiction, it means that this statement that you created the false statement is actually false. It means that its negation, which is your original statement is true. So it means that the statement is true. So we're done with the proof. This is called the method of proof by contradiction. You have a statement, you assume that statement is false and you try to reach to a contradiction. When you reach to a contradiction, it means that this statement that you assumed is true is false. So it's negation, which is the original statement is true.